started. Well, I want to tell you that you're doing a really great job so far, and we're enjoying the um, the opportunity to be here with you guys, all of everybody that's on the chat with us today. And by the way, we are monitoring our chat. So if you have a question, please do feel free to reach out to us. And I'm Ava with Russ Bassett, and this is Peter Fink. And Hello. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> we're smiling under our masks, but since we're here together, and even though we're six feet apart, we decided to uh, wear our masks, and we have actually are here in the Whittier, California showroom, where we have, we welcome visitors on a regular basis. In fact, we actually had some visitors this morning to come in and see the consoles. We are, in case anybody doesn't know, we do uh, manufactured dispatch consoles and have been in business for many years. Um, some of our uh, most recent uh, installations are down here in Southern California, although we are just doing some new ones up there in, in Northern California. So please reach out to us and we'll be happy to tell you where those are in case there's any that you would like to go visit. And um, uh, that went the some of the services that we offer. We have a new, let me back up a minute. We have a new product that we introduced uh, in the earlier this year. We were going to show it at Nina, but um, because of COVID, we were not able to do that. So we are scheduling virtual tours to uh, demonstrate this product and also our other products that we have. So we have two product lines now. And they're a little bit different, uh, mainly space savings. Uh, the newer um, uh, console line is more streamlined, a little bit more streamlined and has some cool features and options and different color options. So we're excited about that. We've been doing uh, virtual tours actually for at least two years now. We started doing that because um, some of the smaller centers that a lot of you um, are at are unable to go to some of the larger conferences or travel and especially right now. So um, that's why we do have that capability. However, the factory showroom is now open again to tours. So we do have some protocol um, entryway uh, regulations you have to go through, but um, we are here and we would love to have you come visit us. Yeah, I think as Ava mentioned, you know, our first, in terms of the majority of the Southern California agencies and Northern California, all of California agencies that we've worked with, um, the majority of those have come to our customer experience center, our showroom here in Whittier, where we have you know, multiple product platforms, multiple sizes, shapes, configurations of consoles, different monitor configurations, technology configurations, et cetera. So that's always the first choice. Um, and then as Ava mentioned, with the agencies outside of California that wanted to experience the showroom, we introduced the virtual showroom uh, prior to you know, the COVID happening, unfortunately. So, uh, but the, the virtual showroom is the second best, if you will. Um, and then we're always, as Ava mentioned, we had a visitor this morning that made the drive here. Uh, about all the appropriate, you know, protocols relates to temperature check coming in, social distancing, wearing masks, et cetera. So if you'd like to visit us, we'd love to have you. Um, if you'd like to do a virtual tour and then possibly come visit us, we'd love to have you through the virtual tour. So we schedule, uh, we can schedule a private virtual tour where you can go in and kick the tires and take you through the entire showroom, explore different monitor configurations, all the features and benefits of the consoles. We're not gonna do that today because you can't do that in 15 to 20 minutes. That typically takes about an hour. So today we just wanted to you know, talk and stand in front of it. You know, pictures worth a thousand words, nice color scene, different monitor configuration, new features as it relates to mounting the monitors, um, technology integration, you know, et cetera. So we'd be more than happy. Again, you can go to our website to schedule a virtual tour or you can contact Ava, or go through our info at russbassett.com email address, and we'd love to have one uh, scheduled for you. What we want to do is understand a little bit more about how you like your tour tailored, so we can so we so we can do a tour that's custom to your 
requirements um, as it relates to just an overview, specific monitor configuration. Like I guess we have different shapes and sizes. We're not one size, one shape as it relates to the console itself. Uh, all agencies are different. We like to show a myriad of options as it relates to utilizing the most, the most effective use of floor space. Social distancing is important now in terms of all new configurations that we're doing. We have our design team here. We can do design reviews uh, through the virtual showroom capability. So there's just a lot we can do virtually uh, that we'd like to, you know, if, if your requirement includes new dispatch console furniture in the future, we'd love to have you do that. And there's probably an agency in relative close proximity that has rust basket console furniture. So they're, you know, when, when if they're open and so forth, I'm sure they would love to have you, you know, come in and take a look around as, as you know, in action per se. Well, and some of the services that we offer, we have the, as far as layout and design, we, we've been doing that for years and we have, as Peter mentioned, multiple sizes, but also I am available to come out to your center if it's allowed and uh, do a site survey, do an inventory of your equipment, understand your workflow as it exists and, and get a really good, have a really good meeting with you. Also, I can be there when you do the virtual tour as well to assist with that process. Um, I'm a very hands-on person and we've been do I've been doing this since 2005 actually. And so I, it, I love meeting people I, in person. I just came back from a trip where I went out to visit some customers that wanted to do an upgrade. And it was better for me to go there and help them out. They had a larger team and needed somebody to be there on site. So I went. And so we are also doing that as well. So if your center is open and you want us to come in and do a kind of a survey and um, understand what you're looking for, how to help you the best way, I certainly can come up and do that. The other option is we can, you can send pictures. There's lots of ways for us to help you to number one, get a budgetary cost. So let's just say, you know, in a year you're going to need consoles. We can actually do a proposal for you, a very professional proposal for you based on the number of consoles. Send that to you as a placeholder for your budgetary committee. And then also in the meantime, in the background, we can start on a layout for you, work out an actual quote once you get that drawing, that layout. Uh, design figured out and um, then come up with a, a formal plan so that by the time you're ready to actually order consoles, you've already got everything in place. Your budget's been approved, you know how much it was going to cost, and, and now you know what your design is. And what I found in my experience is typically all of a sudden you get the windfall of money. I don't know why that is. <laughs> But it seems like, you know, yes, the, the um, you know, a lot of times the state is paying for it. You know when that cycle is going to be, but you don't know how much your phone system is going to cost when you upgrade it. Always good to know what your consoles are going to cost so that you know if you have, you'll have some residual funding. And that leads me to another thing that I'd like to bring up that um, at one point the state was unable to use the residual funding for towards furniture purchases, but in the last few years, they've um, been able to do that again. So please know that we are on CMAS contract. Uh, both are, um, actually our newer product, we're working to get that on CMAS um, contract, but we've got some other innovations that we made last year in the form of monitor mounting and um, personal comfort systems and so on that are on CMAS. So, um, We'd like to understand how you need to purchase and help you through every single step of the purchasing process, as well as figuring out the floor plan and the design and what shape closet fits the best and what features and options you want and so on. Um, and then we've got, you know, on our website, we have, I mean, we serve multiple, you know, mission critical 24 seven markets. Uh, public safety is, you know, one of our favorites. Um, because we that's where our roots are is really actually our roots are in military command and control but really over the last 15 years as Ava mentioned 
we've been focusing on public safety, uh, 911 call centers and so forth. So, um, so we're good listeners. You know, we want to be educate where appropriate, um, not over option, but present options, uh, share relevant project experience, whether it's from a two position center to a 52 uh, position center. So, you know, on our website in the public safety uh, area in terms of the markets, um, you can see you know, real life photos of centers. We've got a resources section on the website that shows different, you know, floor plans, project profiles, you know, centers, you know, such as yours, like maybe like Chula Vista, for example, that we recently did that's a featured project profile. Um, so we've got all types of resources, product videos um, as well that you can view uh, at your leisure and so forth. But, you know, as Ava mentioned, nothing beats in person being with someone. You know, we miss, you know, we miss attending the APCO conference in Orlando this year, as Ava mentioned, we are excited to bring our new Define Console product platform to the conference. We miss, you know, seeing the group in person, the, C, uh, the CPRA group uh, in person, uh, in, you know, in Northern California, APCO, uh, certainly miss that. So, you know, we're people, people. So, you know, if you're, if you're you know, if you want to have a, you know, if, you, if your future plans, like I said, include new console furniture, whether it's you know, six months, a year, two years, three years down the road, there's no better time to think about the future in, in terms of now. Um, and Ava mentioned, we've got some nice things as it relates to be able to prepare, prepare budgetary proposals. If you're going for funding, you need to know what it's gonna look like. And, and any console company can tell you a range, you know, from, you know, 10,000 to 20,000, let's just say. But, you know, it relates to a professional proposal that you can share with the people that are actually going to make the decision on funding. We've been able, we're doing that now, and we can, and we certainly, you know, welcome the opportunity to visit. So, and hopefully sooner than later, this thing will be, yeah, you know, probably a little bit later than we all want, but it, you know, we, it'll be, it, it'll be in the past here, hopefully in the near future. So, again, we welcome you to come here always. We don't need a lot of notice. Uh, you're 24 seven. We try to be as 24 seven as possible too. We've had visitors on, the, on weekends who are, you know, we're in the area from, you know, Northern California, visiting someone from Southern California. They come in after five o'clock, you know, before seven o'clock. So, you know, we're here uh, most of the time. Another new thing is our warranty. Yep. So we came out with a 10 year everything warranty. And we're really excited about this because that means that you, for 10 years, you don't have to worry about product, the shipping of replacement parts, or the installation of replacement parts. And nobody else at this point has a warranty as strong as that. And rust facet products are very, very durable. So you might be thinking, you know, okay, so rust facet, what's different about rust facet? Why rust facet? And from my experience and being in the industry for a very long time, Rust Bassett is very, very innovative. And I think the thing that sets us apart is, as Peter mentioned earlier, is it's not one size fits all. We, are, we try to listen to your needs and come up with the best solution for you. And again, the um, design, one of the really nice things that we do is the, a go-to design review. So basically, let's say we're having trouble with your room, or your layout, the number of positions you want to get in there. We actually get our designers on a go-to meeting and have you sit in with us and we move things around for you. It makes it really nice. Um, it's a great way to dial in a layout. And, and, and even then, it's almost like cut and paste, the old cut and paste. But Rust Bassett products are also very, very durable. Um, I have projects uh, people that have installed, installed in 07 that we've actually gone in and refurbished. I mean, they're just perfectly working for the most part. And, um, you know, the warranty's been expired, but for the most part, everything's working. But they wanted a different color scheme on the top. And they had a little bit of CPE money, so they went ahead. And, like a modernization, if yes, you will. Yes, exactly. So um, we have, um, there are lots of, we're, we're innovative. We, we really care 
the Russ Bassett team really cares. We have a great team here. We have people from all over the industry here supporting us in our product development, in our marketing department, in our design department, um, in our upper management department, <laughs> and so on. And um, you know, we we just we really care about the customer. Yeah, we're I mean, we're you know we're our home is Whittier, California. I mean, you know, we we have PCEP installations in, in all 50 states, but you know, we view ourselves as being California based, California taxpayers, California factory, et cetera, that you know we owe something always extra to California agencies. I mean, we owe add extra to everyone else as well. But as it relates to California, again, based on the proximity, based on our team, based on the drive easily, fly easily, you know, et cetera, that's a particular importance to us. And that was our commitment. I've been with Russ Bassett for 15 years, our 16 coming up at the beginning of next year. I has been here at Russ Bassett for about twice that amount of time and you know, 30 years. So she started here when she was 60. And, um, but we've got a team that's been here, has that type of experience and longevity, you know, whether it be, you know, in the industry or in so forth. So we like to, again, just, you know, share relevant experiences, be listen and try to, you know, and come up with innovative solutions. I mean, all the dis all dispatch console furniture goes up and down like an airplane. They take off and they land. So, but in terms of it's from concept through completion, the total experience and our references um, that we have, whether they're on our resources section of our website or whether you're talking to someone, you know, one of your neighbors and they've worked with Russ Bassett, we know we're going to get an A, if not an A plus. And that's what we strive to do on every single um, project that we do. So, do we have anything in the, is Trevor over there on the chat box doing anything or? No, uh, we got uh, some posts from Kara here with the links for the thing we talked about. Oh, nice. Okay, very okay. good. No questions yeah. come in yet? Yeah, so anything that's come through um, as we near the, as we near the end of our 20 minutes, um, again, please, if you're interested, Trevor says we've got two minutes left, so. <laughs> Larry, you don't have to give us one minute warning. We got you. <laughs> um, so, um, but please, you know, please reach out to us. We, we welcome the opportunity, whether we've met in the past or we haven't met in the past, uh, whether you don't know if your future plans include console furniture or not, reach out to us. We'd be happy to, you know, show you what we can do. Um, and again, always welcome here for, we do have these, you know, I am 911, hashtag I am 911, Russ Bassett, face mask that we'd love to uh, share with everyone that's attended today. So if you'd like one, please just email info, info at russbassett.com. And we'll make sure we send these out to not only yourself, but let us know how many people are in your center. And we'll try to do our best to give you, you know, share those with you. Um, we've got some 911 pins as well. So a little bit of, you know, swag that you would typically receive if you're walking by right. our booth uh, today. So. But in closing, thanks thanks to the, uh, the chapter for putting this on. Um, in, in terms of the organization and how it was put together, we've attended a bunch of these different virtual tours. And I got to say that this was well organized from the vendor people to to John and his and the team. So kudos to you guys for the organization for that um, the communication. We appreciate uh, that because it's new for everyone here. And then. Um, you know, we just look forward, you know, thank you for everything that you do in terms of keeping us all safe, especially during, you know, these unprecedented times that we face. We know you guys have a stressful uh, job. And again, thank you very much from myself, Ava, and the entire Russ Bassett team. Have a good afternoon. Well, thank you both. Um, thank very you. Very nice presentation. Good job.